Good morning, my Goober gang. We're out here on the James River this morning. I've got just two rods down right now. I've got my gill net set on a mud flat out over here looking to catch some gizzard shad. I brought a bucket full of bluegill with me. I've got about 10 of them in there. I want to make sure they last all morning. We've got about four or five hours to fish this morning and we're going to make sure we make good use of all of our bait. I've got two Carolina rigs suspended with bluegill on them right now. Nice lively little buggers bouncing around down there. And these are on some medium action Uncle Lou's rods. So I'm really excited to see if those go down. It should be a good time. We'll be back with you when these rod tips start going down. As you may be able to see on our graph, we've got a nice mud flat over here. This is the shallower side of the river. We're gonna work down through here, working on some of these channel ledges, trying to focus on getting down to these deep little pockets, hanging up around these break lines down here, and just seeing if we can find any fish cruising through here. Fish tend to feed up on these areas at night and then move over into these holding areas during the daytime. So we're out here about 7.30 in the morning hoping to find some fish making their way down to these pockets and setting up shop for the day. The tide just turned about 45 minutes ago, so they should be making their way to a final resting spot for the next couple hours. All right, we did our first drift and had two little bluegill down there. One of them was stolen, one was never really touched. So we're gonna go back and pick up the gill nut, see if we got any gizzard shad in there, and then start making our way back down river. Oh my goodness, you have got to check this bass out. That is an absolute giant. We're going to throw this thing on the board here. This is looking like 21, 22 and a quarter inches long. Absolute beast. Oh man, if there were some big old flatheads in here, he might just find himself on a hook. There he goes. Well, that was pretty cool. I think it's time to get back to catfishing now. All right, this rod is just getting crushed over here. If you can see it in that reflection, I'm not sure. I might have to pick up on that, see if we got a fish on there. I think we do. Yep. All right. So we are on. This is on the Uncle Lou's medium action rod. First fish on this rod. I've been thinking about this all night. It's just gonna be a small fish, but he's bending that thing over real nice. I can't wait to catch a goober on here. <clears throat> We're gonna do it today. I can feel it. Nice little fish on the bluegill head. Carolina rig with a six ounce egg sinker. Look at this little fatty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get him out of here and get on with it. Oh boy, look at this rod bending over. <clears throat> it's on that bluegill head again. He's running with it. <laughs> this medium rod is gonna be a whole lot of fun. It might be my new favorite. Thank you, Uncle Lou. What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Feels pretty similar to the last one. Yep, another solid blue. Good way to start the morning. Oh, that bugger, he stole my bluegill head. <clears throat> Good thing I got some, I guess, I guess that means a live bluegill is going down next.
Alrighty, good looking little fish. Not bad at all. No skunk in this boat today. Get out of here, buddy. He's gone. All right, well, on that note, we are gonna pull up our rods and move down to our next spot. It's already almost nine in the morning. We've got a couple more spots we wanna hit before the day's up. We're probably gonna fish another two, two and a half hours or so. Let's get on with it. We'll catch you back at the next spot. All right, we just had a big take on this rod. Not sure if he's still on there or not. It appears that he is. Let's pick up on him. This is gonna be another baby fish. <clears throat> we are down to our second spot of the morning. One more to go after this. Seeing if we can luck into any goobers. Put some on these Uncle Lou's rods. And that is not the goober we're looking for. Look at that little guy. We could put a hook in him and throw him right back down if we wanted to. <clears throat> He's already had a rough day getting caught right on the top of the head there. Let's get him out of here. Oh wow, that was a big hit. All right, we just got a big old hit on this back rod. A really big takedown. Hopefully you saw that in the front camera. Best hit of the morning so far. Got a bunch of little head shakes, so it may not be a monster. But man, we're having a good time. I gotta get my trolling motor under control here. I think this was on a piece of bluegill body section, the back half of that bluegill. Popular bait out here recently. That's a great size blue. No complaints there. Fun little fish. Got him in the boat. Gonna get this hook out and get him on his way. Show him off for a second here. It's a great looking fish. Skinny little guy. He's got that big old head and big old mouth on him. He'll get up there. All right, see you later, buddy. Hey, how's it going? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, not doing much today. Oh no, nothing's going on. Today hasn't been great. I've caught like four or five fish, but they're all small. Look, you have a good day. All right, you too. Take care. It's always fun to run into people who enjoy watching the channel, so thank you for the kind words. And make sure that you support your local YouTubers. I know they get a lot of flack for showing spots, but it's a lot of work and we appreciate it. That's the one really cool thing about YouTube is you get to meet a lot of new people that enjoy the same things as you. A lot of my friends either don't like fishing or they do, but they're not willing to put in the long or early or late hours. So it's good to meet new friends that share the same passion. All right, we've got this rod going over. Let's pick up on it. We just went through a school of little fish. I'm trying spot lock right here, just so we don't get our rods all tangled up while we deal with this guy. And it's either tangled up with my back rod or there's another fish on back there. But I think it's tangled up. Yeah, it looks like it might be. <clears throat> Forget which bait's on here. It might be a bluegill head. Not positive. Got some bubbles coming up. That's a live bluegill he was after. At least on one of the rods. That looks like my back rod back there. What a disaster. Thanks a lot, buddy. He's got my lines all twisted up, which is one of the risks you run when you suspend four rods right next to a small kayak. There's another small fish on the day. And we've got this mess to deal with here. We'll be back. All right, we got a bite here. This could be a decent one. It took it over nice and slow. Yep, now it's starting to pull quite a bit. All right, baby. 
That's the fish we're looking for. Starting to pull a little bit of drag. Let me work on getting some other rods up so we don't get all tangled up here. This is on a bluegill. I've got about two left in the bucket. This is the last spot I'm planning on trying for the day. <clears throat> so happy to hook up with one here. This medium rod is an absolute blast over here. He just candy canes this thing right over into the water. You keep an eye on those back rods. Maybe one of those will go down too. It's happened before. Haven't even gotten them off the bottom yet. That's a big heavy fish. I'm psyched. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, be a goober, be a goober. I'm gonna get my glove on and ready just in case. All right, baby. Not really seeing much on the graph, but he is pulling hard. Starting to get some bubbles coming up from decompressing. Lots of bubbles. It takes a big air bladder to blow lots of bubbles. That's a great fish. Best one in the morning so far. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to help me for my tournament, but he's still a good fish. 33 incher. We'll grab him and show him off real quick. This is the fish of the trip so far. Look how skinny he is. He's got to get to eating. Hopefully he got that bluegill. He's got some marks from the spot on his head. He's still trying to regain some weight from there. So we'll let him go and get back to feeding. Later, dude. He's gone. It's a good day to be a bluegill. The bite was slow, so these couple guys are gonna go free. All right, get on out of here, little buddy. Best of luck to you. Could it be? We got a pack up bite. This is the last rod in the water. Looks like it's getting hit. And, yep, we're going to reel down on him. We've been sitting on top of this hole for about 10 minutes. It's a last ditch effort on our trip today. And it looks like we're going to hook up with a little cat. We let three of our bluegills on the hook go free, and I think they're going to make it. Two in the bucket are definitely going to make it. They've got to fend for themselves on this James River now. And this one's not going to make it. This kitty cat got him. <clears throat> Ooh, that's got to hurt. He got the hook right through the eyeball. We'll try and be careful with him here. Looks like he should do all right recovery wise. Thanks for being the last fish of the day and a good place to close out this video. So with that, we are gonna shut it down. Don't forget to check out our buddy, Circle Hook Productions. He's one of our Goober Gang VIP members. If you wanna become a VIP member and get some shout outs in our videos, you can find out all about that in one of our recent videos and in our description box down below, we've got details on that. But we will catch you later. We're gonna do a live stream tonight. Although this video will be seen long after that live stream goes live, so I'll pop that up in the box right here. Hopefully you go check that out and hopefully we get on some big fish. So until next time, catch you later. Just because this video is over doesn't mean the fun has to stop here. Check out these videos down below. Catch you some more goobers while you wait for our next video to drop. Later.